Thank you, Sam. Everybody, one more time for Sam Rucker. As you can tell, he is modeling the I'm a trust fund kid and my dad owns a dealership line tonight. Um, before we go any further, though, uh, I want to go ahead and make sure, like, hey, Cliff. Yeah. Are we going to bust out into the gambler tonight or are we good? We're good. We're good? Okay, awesome. Then I'll get started then. Hi, everybody! Hey! Who's drinking? I'm getting buzzed. Um, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Jessica Lane. I host the NSFW Open White Comedy down at the Mega Lounge there every other Thursday. And uh, I'm probably the only one in the room who sucked more dick than Tarbo. <laughs> Um, a lot of people get that from New Year's resolutions that they want to lose weight. Uh, and, and I try to get an exercise plan, and I try to find one that was right for me. And uh, I remember looking online the other day and found out that sex burns, like 20 minutes of sexual activity burns about 200 calories. So I've decided that I'm going to fuck my way to fitness. <laughs> The only problem is, is like, 20 minutes is kind of like a tall order for some people. So, just kind of this whole thing of like, I'm coming, I'm coming, god damn it! There's only like 10 minutes, it's only like maybe 100 calories tops! Fuck, tagging your friend! <laughs> um, I understand that my life is sort of like a, a, a weird so, uh, sense of sick cosmic irony, as uh, I'm a transsexual night nurse. Um, which sounds like a porn. <laughs> I feel like that's a good allegory for my life, though. It's like the porn that never happened. <laughs> but, uh, while I'm actually night nursing, I, I feel like that's an inappropriate, like, description for it, because I don't actually do a lot of nursing. I mostly just kind of stay up all night and look up at the ceiling and drool on myself. Um, but occasionally in these states, uh, I have these particularly profound thoughts that I feel are, are great philosophical statements of uh, the modern age, and I've decided to share them with you all. I call them my 3 a.m. musings. Uh, epileptics shouldn't have sex in rooms with clapper lights. I feel electronic cigarettes should be more properly called mouth fedoras. <laughs> you might be a 90s kids if all of your vaccinations were mandatory and nobody got the measles. Do neon cowboys sodomize electric sheep? <laughs> I'm glad I got some laughs on that, as I wrote that when I was really high, and I was worried how that would go over. <laughs> I'm actually a blonde, but I dye my hair red. Does that make me transgender? <laughs> <laughs> I've learned one big thing on social media is uh, spirit animals. Um, I've also learned that you get to pick your own. They're not actually like a sign to how your personality actually is. Because it's always like your one friend that constantly talks about how they hate exercise and hate doing anything that's outside of their house because they'd rather just sit at home and eat pizza and ice cream and watch Netflix all day. Who's like, shut up, Jesse. Who's <laughs> like, my spirit animal is a gazelle. Or like a horse. When in actuality, it's probably more like a sloth. But in that same similar vein, I've decided that I'm going to uh, pick my own spirit animal. And uh, I decided that I want my spirit animal to be a mongoose. Uh, because a mongoose, when it wakes up in the morning, it has two things on its to-do list. That is, uh, wake up and kill fucking cobras. <laughs> 
Now, a mongoose could have biologically evolved at some point to find alternative, safer forms of food, but the mongoose was like, fuck that. I want cobras because the venom makes the meat taste better. <laughs> That's my Jay Kendrick joke. Um, I turned 25 this year. Uh. <laughs> wow, you all had some serious excitement on that. I was about to get into something, but now just like let that one sink in. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like I, I'm kind of dying up here. Uh, uh, show show my hands. Who's trying to kill themselves? Oh, I'm going like four people. Damn, y'all are awesome. Uh, I'm gonna let you know for everybody who didn't raise their hand just now, um, if you haven't, you haven't lived. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, turned 25 this year. Uh, there we go, now we got some more excitement. I'm getting into the dark shit again. All right? Uh, uh, I'm a cam whore and um, I recently got the, uh, I got to learn that, you know, turning 25 meant a lot of things. It meant that, uh, I realized I still don't have my parents' love and affection. <laughs> but on the bright side, my insurance is lower, so I guess that's, that's pretty rad. Yay, adulthood. Um, then I got a, uh, email from the site that, that, that hosts, uh, my cam whoringness to let me know that they've moved my uh, channel over to the MILF section. <laughs> because uh, they saw us from Tennessee and they realized that everybody gets pregnant at 16 here. <laughs> <laughs> the fun thing about working at, uh, at doing that kind of line of work is, is honestly the ads that pop up in the side is you're just like hopping on to check to see how much money you've got that day. Uh, there's always that one in the corner that just click this link if you want to destroy your marriage. And I was like, oh shit, y'all, it's the Matrimony Obliterator. <laughs> Which, by the way, is the name of my next death metal band. Uh, I'll be teaming up with Jacob Burrell with that one, and, and it's going to be rad, y'all. Um, but I had this big hype, because, you know, as I sit there and I'm like, you know, I'm not married or whatever, I'm feeling froggy, let's fucking do this. And it's always this, you know, like, 18 blonde girl taking it doggy style for the first time. Vanilla shit. Just like, fuck it. I'm just gonna go to Burning Angel. <laughs> um, so, Star Wars came out recently. I'm more of a Star Trek fan. Um, personally, wasn't excited about it. Kind of excited about the next Star Trek movie. Gonna cry about it. But I decided to ask myself the very popular question of who is my favorite captain the other day. And because Boston's in the room, I'm going to tell this joke. <clears throat> who is your favorite, who, who is my favorite Star Trek captain? That was a good question to ask. Because it was like, well, we can go ahead and, and mark out Janeway, because I'm pretty sure she's somewhere on the autism spectrum. <laughs> and... All Cisco did was loiter on a space station for like seven series for seven seasons. Uh, so that is really between like Kirk or Picard, because if anybody actually mentions Archer in the running for that, we can't be friends and you should leave. There, 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 there's the door, Jeff. I don't care. There's the door, Jeff. <laughs> And I thought about this question, because it seems like a popular one, and it was very difficult for me because it's like, at first, like, Patrick Stewart, he hits the daddy issues in just the right way. <laughs> but then I was like, I have to go with Captain Kirk, because, uh, Captain Kirk is, uh, like the Bill Clinton of space. <laughs> He's charismatic, he's likable. 
And if it's even remotely female, he's probably fucked it already. <laughs> hey! Hey! But Kirk, our species doesn't have gender. I see your mouth moving, but all I'm hearing is there's at least one usable orifice. <laughs> Captain Kirk wouldn't be a bitch, I mean, like, 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 Captain Kirk wouldn't be a bitch about it. There'd be no, like, I did not have sexual relations with that space squid. <laughs> Captain Kirk would own up, be proud of that damn fact. To where it's like, God damn it, Bones, you know I can't help myself. I'm a sexual Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> Dr. Bones McCoy performed 3,687 abortions during his time at Starfleet. <laughs> 36 of them were on Kirk himself. <laughs> I always feel uncomfortable about telling that joke, and it's, it's, it's because I feel that, like, you know, abortion's not, like, a laughing matter. Which isn't to say that, like, I'm anti-choice or whatever. But it's just because I'm like opposed to abortion doctors, um, because uh, they take perfectly good jobs away from American-made stairs. <laughs> That's okay. You didn't have to laugh at that one. I don't take it personally. So my humor gets a little dark, and uh, dark humor is a lot like food. Uh, not everybody gets it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why we're doing this! Um, yeah, that was a pretty good, like, transition there to say that shit. Um, <laughs> now you all hate me a slightly bit less. <laughs> um, I spend a lot of time on the internet, as you can probably tell. Um, I don't really people well. Um, but because of that, like, I start to wander into, like, the really weird, dark places of the internet, and, uh, one of the places that I stumbled upon the other night was called, uh, Bad Dragon. Oh, we got one chuckle. Where are my furries at? I know you know what's up. All right. So for those of you who do not know, this is going to be a wonderful educational experience about Bad Dragon. <laughs> Yay, indeed. All right. We're making the ha-has now, y'all. All right, Bad Dragon is a website where you can buy custom animal cock dildos. Ow! Yeah. Not only can you pick your color, but you can pick your size. So that you can get a small, a medium, a large, or an extra large purple knotted dog dick dildo. <laughs> By the way, trying to say that while drunk is a feat of its own. <laughs> One of them caught my, uh, my eye. I masked the uh, massive array of horse penis that they had available for me. It was an extra large. It's called the Thoroughly Bred. That's a horse joke for those of you who didn't get that. This thing weighed 14 and a half pounds. Now I want everybody to take a moment with me real quick here. And close our eyes and just, you know, kind of get, uh, find our center and just imagine how big a horse cock dildo has to be to weigh 14 and a half pounds. It could not be practical for its intended usage. Like at all, that's not meant for human beings. But I did find one practical use for that. And that is as a home defense weapon. Like, I want this motherfucker mounted up on a plaque with the words peacekeeper above it in my living room. Mostly because I want that one chance, that one day that I get to see there and see that in print. I get to read, I get to see that prudish twat down at WCYB read that out on the six o'clock news. 
<laughs> Home intruder subdued by Tranny's rubbery horse cock. <laughs> Thank you all, my name is Jessica Main. <laughs> Next up to the stage is a hideaway favorite. Please welcome to the stage, the fabulous Jacob Moore. Woo! Woo! 